Hey, today is all about WhatsApp Forms. We are going to share with you how to do it, why you should do it, and all the options you have to create the best WhatsApp Forms. Okay, validation, data collection, uh, hidden fields, uh, everything about tracking. So we are going to give you a lot of insights, a lot of information. So let's go for it. Uh, let's take, let's let's make a, you know, like a, let's make, let's make a new one from scratch. So you can see everything, you know, from, from zero to everything. So we put here a name. Let's say this is my company. I'm going to put here, we help you, we help you with Google Ads, okay? I can choose an icon here, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and let's save the widget. Now we put, uh, this is my agent, I put my photo, I'm going to choose my photo, this one. Okay, I'm going to put my, my phone number here. So this is my agent. Uh, we can add more information, but for now, this is good enough, okay? I have a widget and an agent. Okay, that's what I have. Now I'm going to add a form to this agent. We have some templates for you. Okay, so to make everything easier, we have these templates. We are going to choose sales. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to create a WhatsApp form. If we click, if we click activate down here, the form is ready. That's it. As you can see, I don't know, 10 seconds, <laughs> we have a WhatsApp form. Okay, this is the WhatsApp form. We have these fields. Okay, name, email, phone number. And this is ready to go. This is ready to be insert in your website, to be used as a landing page, you name it. What fields we have here? We have a name of the field that is here. We can remove it, we don't need it. Let's, let's remove this. Now we have name. Name uh, is a text field, okay? We have a bunch of options here. I'm going to make this a bit bigger so you can see it better. We have a bunch of options here. Text, in this case, we are going to, we are going to link this name field to first name. Why? Because when we send this data in the uh, in the data layer with Tag Manager, this is going to become name, the name of the person who is giving us, you know, the information. So we can map this information with Google information. Okay. So this is important. If you do Google Ads, this is a very important uh, field. Then we have email. In this case, it's a email format. That means, you know, that if I put something like this, it's not going to it's not going to work. Okay. This is not a valid email. If I put this. Neither, okay, this is not working. So I need to put an email format. Just in case you have this option. This option, this option here, this validation is to prevent emails like Gmail, Hotmail, ProtonMail, you know, this, this, this type of emails. This is just in case you work, you know, for companies or you, or you need like, let's say corporate emails. This is an option for you to filter those emails. Okay, in the email section, you can add this validation, okay? Of course, we can move these fields. I can move email app, name, you know, I can do it with these arrows or I can drag and drop, you know, the, the blocks so I can move them, okay? I can move this one down, this one, this is up to you, the same. The order of the fields is completely up to you, okay? In this side, we have a preview. Here, we have all the fields with all the options we are going to, you know, be checking. Okay, name, email, easy, telephone, Okay, WhatsApp number, we use the format telephone. Telephone, as you can see, you have the country code. The country code is geolocated. That means I'm in Spain, I'm going to see plus three, four. If you are in the States, you will see plus one. If you are in the UK, you will see plus four, four. If you are, you know, this is like that. It's automatically detecting where you are and the country code is uh, placed there. Based on that, we do a validation of the phone. Okay, if I put 888, this is not a phone number. So we validate at least the length of the numbers. Okay. Because the phones, you know, in each country you have different formats. So we validate at least that the format is correct. Okay. So we give you good data. Okay. So name, email, WhatsApp number. Okay. Those are the basics. We can add more fields here. Let's add a new one so you can see more options. This is the drop downs. The drop downs is a fantastic and an amazing tool. Okay. Let's, let's do drop down with price so you can see how this works. Let's say you want to, uh, you do, uh, you are a painter, okay? And you do, you you know, you know painting houses. So you can, you can ask uh, how big, how big is your house? So you can say less than 100 square meters. And you can put a price. A price is either for you or for your user. The user can see the price. If not, it's for you to have a value of the lead. Let's say this is 500. You can say, uh, from 100 square meters to 300 square meters. And maybe this guy is worth uh, 1000 for you. And you can put something like more than 300 square meters and you can say it's 1500. So this is for you to have options for the user to choose. Okay. 
and it's going to give you information and it's going to give you a quantity of the of the job or a quantity of the lead okay so you you have a sense of okay how much i'm you know i'm doing how good the leads are etc so drop down with price is a very nice feature it's a very nice you know uh, element for your for your form as you can see here you have more options you have options like show us button that means the drop down instead of a instead of a drop down looks like this Okay, so it's, it's nicer, it's beautiful. Uh, you can show the price. Okay, let's say you want to display the price for the user. So they can see, okay, this is 500, this is 1000, this is 1500. So this is something you can do. You can display the price, you can show this as buttons. Predictive text is an option for you. If you have a lot of options, let's say you have, I don't know, 20 options or, you know, something like that. You can do something like I can type, you know, and I will see only the options that match that text. So this is this is useful, for example, for provinces or countries or, you know, things that are very long, you know, like you have 20 options or 30 options. You can add the predictive text. So it's easier for, for the user to choose and can multiply. This is an option that happens when you have price. When you have price, you can let the user add quantities. You know, for example, I want a, a pizza. How many units? Three units. OK, that will be the calculation. OK. In this case, you can say, okay, how many houses, well, it's, it's a stupid, but you know, stay with me. How many houses do you want to paint? Three houses. Okay. That, that will make the calculation for you. Okay. So this is, let's activate this. So you can see how, the, how this works. As you can see, how big is your house? And this is how many houses you have, no? Three. That will be the case. Okay. So this is for you. So drop, drop down with price is a very powerful uh, element. Today, we are, we are not going to do bookings. Okay. We are going to skip bookings because we have done other videos for bookings. So today is all about forms. Okay, forms to get leads. That's it. So this is this is drop down with price. It's a very powerful element. Then you have a time and date. A time and date. This is not for bookings. It's just to collect date and time. That's it. Okay. We don't do bookings. If you choose these options, we don't do bookings. It's only to get information from the user. Sometimes this is sometimes you know the form is a request to book. It's not a booking is I want to send you a request for you to consider when I want this to happen. Okay. Also can be, you know, date of birth, for example, if you choose date, you know, you can have birthday, for example, and we will save, we will save this data as a birthday. Okay. So this is a, you know, a date of birth. Okay. So this is something you can have. Uh, let's go here. Yes. It's like this. Okay. So the user can choose, you know, the day, the year, Okay, all these all these things. Okay, so this is for you. It's a the same. It's a nice feature. So date and time are, are like that. Let's add a new one. Let's choose what else we have here. Date time at checkbox. We will do this the, at the end. URL is to collect a, a URL. Maybe you want to know the the website of the of the client. Numbers. That's it. It's a number. In this one, we want to add more validations because people people are asking for you know to have a limits to to know the numbers something like that. Gender. You know, male female. Zip code. Zip code is very interesting. The same. It's very interesting. Very important. We have validations for USA and Spain. Okay. We will add more, but for now we have this. And zip code is uh, the same. It's a field that we convert to city and country. Okay. So you can you can you can just uh, let's make this one. Let me show you what happens. I put here Caesar info at chat with. This is my phone number. How big is your house? I want two houses. I was born like this. And this is my zip code. Okay. I send this data. This is a fantastic uh, WhatsApp form. This goes to your WhatsApp. We send an email also. And you have a lead. Okay. The lead is here. It's in the lead section. Okay. This is all the information about your, your lead. Let me reload. Um, okay. And you have all the information here. And you have the value of the lead. Okay, the value of the lead is here. This is the total amount. This is the total money you are you are doing, and you have here all the information about this user, name, email. Okay, all the data, and you have a, you know everything about this lead is here. Okay, so leads is the CRM we give you. Okay, included in your license for you to manage the leads. Okay, so let's go back to agents edit form so we can we can keep checking more more options. Uh, let me put a Spain here. Okay, so this is like that. Zip code hidden. Well, let's do file. File is 
to for the user to upload a file. This is nice because uh, you know, please add a photo of your house. Let me show you why, why this one is interesting. Because the moment you have a you have a you have a, a photo, the photo will be displayed in your CRM. Okay, how big is your house? I only have one. I was born here. Zip code this one. And let me choose a photo. Uh, this one. Oops, here. Okay, I send the lead. I send you the, you know, you have all the information in your WhatsApp. So this is working. I go to leads and I see the photo here. Okay, and as you can see, we convert the city and province to city and province information. I mean, from the zip code, we give you city and province automatically. You don't need to do anything. And the photo is here. So this is, you know, this starts to become a powerful tool for you to manage your leads. Okay, you have all the information here. So that's, that's nice. Okay, let's go back to agents. Let's see what else we can do with the WhatsApp form. So we have the file and you always, this is an option you have for every field. Every field can be required or not. This is for you, the same to choose. Okay, let's add a new one. Help text is just if you want to add some content to the form, you know, like um, help with photo. So you can say something like, please add your photo to the uh, form. So the user knows, you know, why is this important, why you need it, etc. Okay, this is the help text is here. So you know, you, you can move it, of course, if you want to this, if you want to uh, to be on top of the to be on top of the of the of the button is here. Okay. So this is help text is is you can add content to the form in every in in any location just to help the user. Okay. So the last one I want to share with you is well the last two is check checkbox is is very nice checkbox is for you know all these uh, legal things like you know privacy terms and conditions uh, whatever if you need to add checks for the user this will be, this will be required you can add the text okay like privacy policy and you can you can have a url for your you know for your privacy policy you can add more content okay you can this can be open on a pop up you know this is for you to to add if you need to have uh, these privacy policies uh, you know in your uh, form you know this is check it's mandatory it will be safe etc so check very powerful very nice okay the same and the last one is hidden hidden the same hidden is a very powerful field because you can you can collect you know the g click you can collect utms you can collect country you can collect price you can collect the url you can collect a lot of data that is going to be sent with the webhook okay we have a webhook that is very powerful and all this data will be sent to your WhatsApp, will be sent to your email, will be saved in the leads control panel, but you know, you can always use the webhook. Okay, the webhook is for you to send data to make Zapier, Publi, your database, you name it. So it's a very powerful tool because WhatsApp forms with webhook, with notifications, with all these validations is going to give you, you know, a super cool, you know, tool for you to manage your leads. Okay, it's going to be very powerful. And, you know, the question is, is, okay, how can I use this form? I create this form. The form is beautiful. How can I use it? How can I, you know, put it on my website? How can I share it with my clients? How can I, I start, you know, using this beautiful uh, WhatsApp form? You have, I think, three, four options, I think, more or less. Option number one, the widget, okay? You can insert this widget in your website, okay? Install widget. You copy, you put it on your website. Very easy. Option number two, you can insert the widget in your HTML page, HTML, WordPress, Wix, you name it. Okay. This is the form. This is the code for your form. This code can be insert in any HTML page. Copy and paste. Very easy. Option number three, you can use our beautiful landing pages. This is the landing pages we have for you. You can choose any of these. Let's choose alpha. Let's click save. We, uh, I need the photo, sorry. Let's put this photo, let's click save. And you have a beautiful landing page with a form ready to share. Everything included, unlimited. You can create one, two, 100, 200 pages, 200 forms, each one with you know independent forms. These widgets, of course, are all of them independent. I mean, I can create widgets for each client I have. Each widget can have a different form 
each widget can have a different configuration, each widget can have a specific endpoint for the webhook, each widget can have a different landing page. So this is completely unlimited, completely, you know, uh, independent, completely, you know, easy to use. As you can see, you, we can create as many as we need, as you want. And each one is going to be here ready for you to share, to collect data, to check what's happening, to check what is working, what is not working. You can customize, you know, the color, everything. So, I mean, we can go here and we can change the, the color of the, of the widget. Of course we can change. I mean, we can do whatever, you know, we need to make this perfect. Okay. WhatsApp forms are very powerful. WhatsApp forms are very useful. WhatsApp forms will help you manage your leads in a very, in a, in a much more efficient way that, you know, other tools are, uh, you know, that are out there. So, you know, give it a try, create your account is five dollars euros per month. You can cancel anytime. So create your account, test it. If you like it, perfect. If you don't like it, cancel. That's it. Nothing, not, not much to lose. Okay. Five euros, five dollars. That's, that's, that's everything you need to put on the table to start working with us. Okay. Hope you like it. Thank you. See you soon.